Hey, Donna Heifel with Heifel Performance Group. Thanks for driving along with me today. You know, I've been thinking a lot about our ability to change other people's minds. That's really at the heart of leadership. It's at the heart of sales. And the base of being able to change somebody's mind, really the base skill, is communication. Um, I remember a time I was in my, dad, my dad's church, obviously. I was about probably six years old. And dad had gotten in front of the church. He was a minister. And he had posed the question to the congregation of, you know, do you have any prayer requests today? And a lot of people had their hands up, and I was one of them. And he tried to ignore me for a while, but finally he knew he had to come to me. So he said, Donna, and there were still probably five or six other hands up. And he said, who should we pray for? And I said, our enemies. <laughs> and, and dad said he, kind of, he didn't understand the word. But he kind of saw other people's hands up and he knew he had to move on. So he kind of looked confused, but he said, okay, but I could tell he didn't know what I said. So I yelled it out again and I said, our enemies. And he said, Donna, I, I don't understand you. And he said in his mind, all he thought about was the next person he needed to go to. And so I stood up and I stopped my foot and I said, our enemies. And finally, my mother said, Joe, she's trying to say our enemies. And he finally got it. But by then I was totally mad. And everybody was laughing and it kind of blew the whole prayer request time. But the key there was that dad was so focused on what he was going to do next, his next action, that he just couldn't hear what I was trying to say. And that happens all the time in communication. So today, I really want to talk about two things we want to make sure we don't do in listening. Number one is we're so busy thinking about either what we're going to say or do next that we don't hear the words coming out of the person's mouth that we're talking to. And I've seen this happen a million times. I've done it with clients where I'm talking to them about something that I know that they need and they start telling me something about their business and I'm so busy thinking about the next thing I need to say to influence them that I actually fail to hear maybe a key concern or problem because I'm focused on what comes next. So stay present in the conversation. If you want to change somebody's mind, you have to first understand where they're coming from. Stay present, even if you have to say that to yourself. Stay in the moment so you know exactly what it is that that person is saying. And secondly, another type of listening we too often do is fatal flaw listening. And that is you are listening for the person to say something that you can disagree with. And I see this more now just with all of us in politics. Everybody's waiting for the person on that side of the fence we don't agree with to say something wrong. Instead, as you listen to colleagues and you listen to clients and you listen to people who work for you, listen both for things you might disagree with, but also listen for things that you agree with in the same context. So in other words, if someone says something you don't agree with in a meeting, don't shut down. Don't immediately think whatever else that person says you don't agree with. Note that that's one point of disagreement, but there might be a variety of other things they say that you really do agree with and can get along with. So that's really what I wanted to discuss today is how are you listening to people? Because I promise you, you will never change anybody's mind if you don't understand where they're coming from first. So that's it. Glad you took this drive with me today and I will see you next time. Thanks.